Oh god! Oh god! Just like we practiced. Oh, no! <laughs> And I'm Jordan. And today we are racing motocross. Just each other though, not like a real race. Well, it's gonna be really cool, really scary, and just like the 2001 movie Motocross. Probably not just like that. Probably more exciting. My name is Jimmy Lewis. I grew up racing motocross as a kid. Slowly drifted into off-road racing. Did races like the Baja 1000 and Paris to Dakar Rally. So what do you think the most important part about motocross is? Vibration in the bars and helps reduce arm pump. Uh, not exactly. It's more about the basics and the fundamentals. At least that's where we're going to start. Throttle makes it go. Throttle makes it slow down too. For the most part, the clutch is, we'll call it an on off switch. One at a time, we'll have you hop, just hop on the bike. It was crazy how much we both learned in just a couple hours getting on the bike, starting it up, riding it. Okay, good. <laughs> Relax, you got it, you got it. Perfect, that was it. Uh, Yay! Uh, 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 uh. Even though I have some experience with this, I haven't been on a bike in almost a decade, but I feel really good now going into the next steps. I'm super stoked we got the basics out of the way, and now we're gonna take it out in the dirt. We've got bumps, jumps, berms, the whole nine yards. Time to put some safety gear on and hit the track. Just like we practiced. Oh no! Did you decide to jump in the mud? No! <laughs> we'll get you more gear. Hold on. We'll get very, very embarrassing. Michelle crashed her bike in the first five seconds we tried riding. It took me a long time to get comfortable. So when you put it in gear, you have to pull it in because otherwise it'll just lurch and go. It really helped riding with Jimmy and feeling how comfortable he is on the bike. Jimmy keeps saying that it's all about the start. Damn it! See, I told you it's hard! I definitely stalled out a couple times trying to get the bike started. I am having a little trouble on the turns. I just get really nervous that I'm gonna fall over. So the next thing we're gonna have you do is learn to stand up on the bike. That way you can steer it with your feet. A lot of today for me so far has been getting over the anxiety that I have on the bike because it's so powerful and so fast. I watched some videos on YouTube and the first thing I noticed was most of the reasons somebody gets hurt. I didn't want to be that person. I just wanted to get through today without going to the hospital. Oh. 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 I was a little nervous. It looked like the girls had forgot some of the stuff we learned in the parking lot right off the bat, but after like two laps, you started seeing them pick it up. You start to be able to have fun, and I forgot how much I just really love riding the bike. Every time I'm riding and I just remember to breathe and relax, I feel so much better. My goal for the race is just to stay calm and collected and not let adrenaline kind of go crazy. I'm Cole Seeley. I race supercross and motocross. I've been riding since I was four years old. What advice do you have? For a first race. Don't hold on too tight because your arms are gonna pump up and then you're not gonna be able to feel, you know, feel the throttle, feel the gas. Don't look so stressed out. <laughs> Nobody's filming you. One lap Great. around the track, ready? Yeah. One, two, three, go. She has not gone that fast all day. She's better at the corners than I am. I'm gonna have to make up a ton of time in this straightaway, I think. Go! Just based on speed, I think you got her on this lap. You're definitely carrying more corner speed than she is, and she knew that. Woo! I wish I was more comfortable in the turns. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. She's 
too stubborn. She's gonna go as fast as possible because she wants to beat me. Here we go. The stopwatch doesn't lie. Jordan had the fastest time by just a little bit. I think it's the straightaway speed, being in a higher gear and going faster. Michelle's average of the three laps was a little bit less. Michelle did so well, and I think because of her cycling background, you could tell she was really comfortable maneuvering a bike at high speeds. I felt a lot of my bike skills coming over in the turns in particular. I'm really impressed. I think the girls did great today. It wasn't an easy track. It was loose and rough. So well, did you guys have fun? Yeah. It was so it was much fun. fun. So I have so much respect for these athletes now. Mega props to everyone in motocross. It was a really awesome day. The times that I did tip the bike over or make a fool of myself were the times when I really didn't trust myself. And so that was a really good learning experience. If there's something out there that you want to do, but it's maybe a little bit scary, just do it. <laughs> oh my God.